You know, very often in our world today, we are told that we must disbelieve our lying eyes. Truths that are right in front of us, plain as day, are to be rejected as mere figments of our imagination. The most obvious realities become conspiracy theories, statements of basic fact or propaganda. We run fact checks on self-evident certitudes, and the fact check corrects the record. Reality is not reality. We are informed. The sun is not in the sky. Water is not wet. There is no gravity. We're not living on planet Earth. Nothing that you see is real. The self-assigned arbiters of truth assure us. Don't rely on your own common sense. Close your eyes which so often deceive you anyway, and let them guide you to and fro. Let them be your window into the world. They will tell you what is real and what isn't. And they, our culture's truth deciders, have decided that all of the recent talk about grooming is absurd, outrageous, offensive, bigoted. It's all just a bunch of anti-gay fear-mongering, they say. And the claim that Disney, Disney of all companies, Disney, not Disney, the claim that they're actively grooming and sexualizing children is, is the most ludicrous falsehood of all, they insist. That's why, they tell us, the move in Florida last week to take away Disney's special tax privileges was a catastrophic overreaction. Worse, it was an all-out assault on the First Amendment somehow. I mean, Disney has no constitutional right to the extra privileges afforded it by Florida, but um, now that it has those privileges, taking them away is unconstitutional, we're told. It's an unnecessary act of retribution. Disney didn't do anything to deserve, this, to deserve this. Poor, helpless Disney, that $200 billion damsel in distress. Disney now needs its own Prince Charming to come rescue it. But unfortunately, Disney declared years ago that those kinds of characters are misogynistic, retrograde, gender essentialist. And so there is no one left to save them. They are abandoned to the clutches of the dastardly DeSantis. A man who, we are reminded, completely made up this whole issue of Disney grooming children. That is entirely fictional. And yet, there are, of course, many examples we can point to and have pointed to many times recently of Disney endorsing, encouraging, and, and often actively engaging in predatory grooming practices towards children. We've gone through the partial catalog enough to prove the point, I think, but we've missed one example. One example so disgusting and twisted and over the top that it's really the only one we need. The conversation could begin and end right here. Anyone defending Disney, anyone claiming that the grooming label is unfair or overboard, anybody, including people on the right, panicking over Florida's revocation of Disney's legal privileges should be confronted with this clip. This is from an episode of Good Morning America on ABC, which is, of course, owned by Disney. Because when we're talking about Disney, we're not just talking about Disney World and Mickey Mouse and uh, the Little Mermaid. We're talking about all of the media properties that Disney owns, like ABC. Now, what you're about to see happened on live TV, on a major network, in front of a live studio audience. I didn't dig this up from the darkest fringes of the internet. This is as mainstream as it gets. It's what Disney promotes and supports. So here's the time when Good Morning America featured an 11-year-old boy in drag. The child's stage name is Desmond is Amazing, and everyone in the building, including the hosts, including uh, Michael Strahan, who's one of the hosts, seem to very much agree that what you're about to see is indeed amazing. Here it is. Please welcome Desmond Naples, a.k.a. Desmond is Amazing. <laughs> I love that you love root beer caffeine free. Mm -hmm. I can get on board with that. My mom doesn't like me drinking caffeine. Does it make you hyper? Yeah, me too. They don't like when I drink caffeine either. But Desmond, you're one of the youngest and first drag queen slash kids. Mm -hmm. And I've heard, you, I've heard that you've gotten messages from young adults who look up to you for being who you are. What are some of the notes you've gotten? Some of the notes I've gotten are like that 
You inspire me very much, and I wish I could have had the support that you have um, when I was a child. Now, if you're listening to the audio podcast, you have been spared the worst of what we just experienced altogether. Um, though you can't fully appreciate just how dark and deranged it was because Desmond, the 11-year-old drag kid, quote-unquote, prances out on stage in women's clothes, makeup caked on his face, dances for the adoring crowd of grown adults, at one point lays himself out prostrate on the ground on the stage while creepy Michael Strahan stares and claps. And then he sits down for a lengthy interview. And later in this segment, um, this segment that was aired on Disney's ABC, even though Disney totally is not trying to groom children at all. Later in the segment, three adult drag queens are brought out on stage with Desmond in their full cross-dressing costumes, woman face fully on. And they proceed to give Desmond gifts of makeup and quote-unquote dance classes. Watch. You guys want to tell us what's out here real quick? Well, I, I see, I, I drew Desmond a little green-haired lady. It, it's, <laughs> it's for you. It's to bring you good luck and prosperity in your future. And, and to eat iceberg lettuce. And to eat iceberg lettuce. Good roughage, okay? There you go. <laughs> With tomatoes and cucumbers. Absolutely. <laughs> and I brought you a gift basket of some Look of my lunch, favorite. You actually, you know what? Let me actually hand it to you because I think you need to have it in your yes, hand. Look at those it is some of my favorite makeup essentials that I use always. I will never understand so many things about what we're seeing here, but um, one of them is that is is how every woman is not insulted when they see the drag queens. And I know so many women are, in fact. But every woman should be insulted because, because uh, I mean, leaving aside the worst part about this, which is the fact that there's a kid there. We'll get back to that in a second. But um, you see that and like, that's what they think of you. That's, that's their impression of you. It is no different from blackface. It is female blackface. It is a, it is a mockery of womanhood. This is what they think you are. This is their female impression. And if it seems cartoonish and degrading, that's because it is. And that's how they see femininity, as a degraded, cartoonish thing. By the way, if you're wondering where the father is in all of this, um, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, he is in the picture. He's literally in the picture. He's in the audience during this segment. He's one of the greasy, disgusting old men staring and clapping while the young boys paraded around in cross-dressing burlesque gear. Desmond may as well be wearing a sandwich board sign which announces, I am a sexual abuse victim because his abuse is on full display for all to see and the audience loves every minute of it. And ABC loves it and Disney loves it. Now, those who wish to mitigate and minimize this will point out that this segment aired back in 2018. This is not new. It's old news. I've already been told this today after I posted this segment on Twitter. People say, ah, this is old news. Why are you posting this? Because to them, apparently, child sexual abuse doesn't matter if it happened a few years ago. But maybe they'd have a point that its relevance to the current news cycle is minimized if there had already been an overwhelming public outrage about this spectacle and everybody involved was fired and Disney had issued a public apology and there was already a reckoning of that sort. But no such reckoning occurred. Nobody was fired. Nobody apologized. There wasn't even any real backlash. Michael Strahan got a major contract extension last year after this. Everybody involved rode happily into the sunset, except for Desmond himself, who is still being paraded around and used as a prop by the LGBT left and his evil, exploitative, ghoulish, abusive parents. Desmond has been sent into gay clubs to dance for money. That's a real thing. This child in drag has danced at gay clubs at night while grown adult gay men throw money at him on stage. He's appeared in videos with adult gay men where he pantomimes snorting ketamine off of his hand, something that no 11-year-old should know how to do or be aware of. Um, just for reference, here's that moment. Everyone can do drag. Everyone can do drag. Your mom can do drag. What has this world come to? It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on a couch. And people do ketamine on a couch. 
you start. Yeah, so he's uh, so that's uh, during some kind of Facebook Live or something, and he's done a lot of these where he's where he appears with adult um, cross-dressing men, and uh, very often in the videos he appears to be on drugs. Now that's not something that eleven-year-old should know anything about. Do ketamine on a couch, and then he he. But why was he doing that? Because at the very least, he sees it happen all the time, and um, nothing is being done to stop it. On the contrary, Disney is there to celebrate and promote it. Meanwhile, the whole concept of drag kids and the mixing of drag queens and kids with things like Drag Queen Story Hour, that's only become more mainstream, more common, more popular since 2018. Once the left learned that it could put something like that on a network television morning show, that was actually a, a, a pivotal, I believe, a pivotal moment in our culture was that. Lots of people never knew that it even happened. But that they could put that on Good Morning America um, and there's no backlash because of it. Nobody even complains. Well, they knew they could get away with a whole lot more. And that's what they've set out to do. Disney learned this lesson also. The only problem with the current backlash against grooming, especially Disney's grooming of kids, isn't that it's too harsh or over the line or too vengeful or unconstitutional. It's none of those things. The problem is that it's many years too late. Boys like Desmond have already been destroyed while so many conservatives were distracted or too afraid to say anything. Now that we're finally clued in, there is very little we could do that we could possibly do in holding Disney and other groomers accountable that would be truly overboard. Certainly taking away their special cushy privileges doesn't even come close to that. I mean, we could forget about everything else that Disney has done. Okay, we could put all of that to the side. We could skip over everything and just focus on this one segment, on one episode of Good Morning America in 2018, and that would be all by itself way more than enough to justify everything that's happening to Disney right now. The only problem would be that it took too long. Taking away tax benefits should be the least of it. Why should a company be able to keep its tax benefits after putting that on the air? You answer me that. I want any conservative who has a problem with this to answer me that. Why should they be able to keep their tax privileges while doing that? In a sane and just and healthy society, all of the adults involved would, would, you know, the the tax privileges would be the least of it because all the adults involved in producing and filming that segment would be in jail if we were a sane society. Desmond's parents would have life sentences in solitary confinement at a minimum. The backlash against Disney would have been so overwhelming and intense as to totally bankrupt and destroy the company. That's what should have happened. What should still happen? Instead, we have to settle for making them pay taxes. And you know, that's not such a steep price to pay when you think of it like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.